Hello guys and welcome back once again. Today we have this interesting question right here. 1 to the power x is equal to 2 and we have to figure out the value of x that will satisfy this equation. Unfortunately, you cannot look at the question and then guess the answer. It's not going to work because if you replace this x with 0, 1, 2 and the rest is not going to work. So I'm thinking of first checking whether this equation right here is having real solution. So let's do that really quick. We can rewrite 1 to the power x as e to the power ln of 1 to the power x. And this is equal to 2 is also the same as e to the power ln of 2. Then from the properties of log, we can move the power to the front here so that we get e to the power x ln of 1 is equal to e to the power ln of 2. Now the bases are the same, so we can equate their exponent. So we have x ln of 1 is equal to ln of 2. Let's go ahead and then divide the side of the equation by ln of 1, just like this, so that this and this will go, and we are left with x is equal to ln of 2 divided by ln of 1. Unfortunately, ln of 1 is 0, so this turns out to be ln of 2 divided by 0. The fact that 0 is divided, this means that this is undefined. Therefore, there's no real answer to this problem. Now let's move on to complex answers. That is what we are expecting next. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clean this really quick. Then we focus on complex answers. Now that we know that this equation right here does not have real answers, we have to see this one here as a complex one and then focus on complex answers. And we can only do that using Euler's formula. So thanks to Euler for his formula. Euler's formula is simply given by e to the power i theta is equal to cos theta plus i sine theta. Now, what do we need in order for us to use this Euler's equation? We need theta, and we can find theta on the Cartesian plane using the unit circle. So let's say we have a Cartesian plane right here. Then for a unit circle, we have a radius of 1, which will be somewhere here. Now at this point, theta is equal to 0. And 0 is not the only angle for theta. In fact, we can stand here and then rotate it once just like this, and theta will be 2 pi, which is also 360 degrees. In the same way, we can stand here and then rotate it twice like this. One, then two, and theta will be equal to four pi. We can stand here and then continuously rotate just like that. So to get the general angle for theta, this will simply be theta is equal to two n pi, where n is an integer, but n is never equal to zero. We come to this later. n is not zero. Let's try and substitute this into Euler's equation to see whether we will get an equation for this one right here. So when theta is equal to zero, we're going to have e to the power i times zero, which is equal to cos of zero is simply one. Sine zero is zero. So we have this equation here e to the power i times, when theta is 2 pi, we're going to have 2 pi right here, and this is equal to 2 pi is 360 degrees. Cos of 360 degrees is simply 1. Sine of 360 degrees is 0, so we end up getting this. In the same way, if we put theta is equal to 4 pi, we're going to have e to the power i times 4 pi is equal to, 4 pi is the same as 740 degrees, Cos of 740 will be 1, and sine of 740 will be 0. So we still have this. In fact, we can keep on going just like that. And you see that if we put theta to be equal to 2n pi, you will have e to the power i times 2n pi is equal to 1. Now what does it mean? It means that wherever we see 1 in this equation, we can replace that with this. Okay, so we have e to the power 2n pi i, then all to the power x because we have x right here. 
and this is equal to 2, just like that. From indices, we can simply multiply this by the power here. So we will have e to the power 2n pi xi is equal to 2, just like that. Now let's go ahead and then drop the power down by introducing ln on each side of the equation. And if you do that, you're going to end up getting 2n pi xi is equal to ln of 2. Because from here, n is never equal to 0, we can divide 2 by the whole of this, right? So let's do that real quick. We have 2n pi i, because we are looking for x. 2n pi i from here. Now let me get rid of what is here, then we proceed from there. All right, so straight away we can see that this i will cancel this, then the whole of this will cancel that, and we are left with x is equal to ln of 2 divided by 2n pi i. Now, i is equal to square root of negative 1, and always we don't want square root to be a denominator. Therefore, let's multiply the numerator side by i and then the denominator side by i. So that we will get x is equal to ln of 2i divided by 2n pi i times i is negative 1. So we have negative 1 here, but we can bring it to the top right here. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the answer to the problem x is equal to this. And of course, n is never equal to 0. So guys, um, that is pretty much it. Subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks for watching. And see you again on the next video. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye-bye.